Hi, my name is Feline Longmore, and this is Stained Glass Urza's Power Plants. Yeah, you said it! That was kind of hard. Okay, so this is stained glass Urza's power plants. Uh, the main emphasis on color here you're going to go for is green. So you use a green Sharpie paint pen if you have one. If not, you just put it on some green paint. You're going to want to do darker over lighter when starting because the edges are darker and the lighter part is in the middle. Then you're going to want to put down the first base layer of paint. Once that dries, you start putting on the little dots and you do different shades of green. And really, you can do this how you want. Um, I decided to go for... <coughs> darker greens at first and then lighter greens and going into this power plant core thing you do even lighter greens and then as you get closer to it you do even lighter lighter greens and really it's just shades of green uh, when this is done it's just stained glass emphasis on green I guess if you want to emphasize colors that are green hues uh, do Urza's power plant and you'll have all your greens covered at that point I don't think it gets any more green than this card so <laughs> Um, <clears throat> you can do them how you want, however, if you want to emphasize another color and blend something else in, you can, but I like extending what's there, and Urza's power plants are naturally green without an extension, so you just extend what's there, I think that looks awesome, and, um, once you're done putting on the paint, and the paint dries, as you can see we brought in a Zacto knife for a second there, and the Zacto knife, you use the toothpick to remove paint, excess paint that you don't want, if paint gets over a letter or a border that you don't want, and you want it to be a fine edge, use a toothpick to do that, but sometimes the toothpick is, uh, it, it doesn't want to come off even when you make it wet. And so what you'll want to do sometimes is use a Zacto knife, and if you're precise enough, you can scratch off the paint without actually scratching the surface of the card uh, and leaving that intact. So um, a Zacto knife or a, or a, uh, a toothpick uh, for removing paint that you don't want. Uh, and then again, going back to the paint drying, we're drawing in all the little lines, and the bottom part of the card is much darker, while it's a lighter, uh, the top part of the card is lighter and then the middle part of the card kind of emphasizes the, the dark and light coming together. <clears throat> and again, this is all in the form of shades of green. And one thing you'll see here is after I did this, um, I decided I wanted to make it even more stained glassy. So we're going to do an additional step on this. Um, and sometimes that will happen. You'll do a card and you'll be done with it and you're like, I want to do a little bit more. Uh, so you decide to go back and do more. There's no reason not to do more. If you think that's what looks better, then that's what you should go for because that's that's the end result is what matters. You want you want good results. And um, <clears throat> what I do when I do these, um, there's like different ways you can go about doing it. But usually I'll I'll do the border when drawing on all the lines because the lines take so long to draw in. Um, I will do the border kind of drawing in all the lines and I'll do them in like sections and then like if my hand start because your hand especially doing something this small and tedious your hand um can start hurting uh and sometimes you have to take breaks so I'll do like a I'll do like one side or a border around the edge and then I'll do like one side of the picture on the left or on the right and then go to the next card and if I get to a certain point where I'm like ah, I need to take a break or I need to take a lunch break or, or something you know just pace yourself and do it uh, in a manner where you're still enjoying it and you're not overworking yourself because if you're having to force yourself to do it it's not going to be as exciting it's not going to be fun uh, and then, and then your, your, I guess your heart is not in it, so to speak. And then, um, you know, that, that can affect, um, the productivity, if you will. Uh, I guess as, as, as some say, a happy worker is a productive worker. Um, and, and this is the part I was, uh, emphasizing about a minute ago. Um, once it was done, we decided to add in some more green and we got closer to the power core. And I feel like this is still good enough that most judges would still, because the original art being recognizable is important and we don't mess with that one part. We just come in really close to it, but there's not a lot of original art. So um, it's, it's really the more you alter on the card when it comes to the original picture, um, as long as the main part is recognizable, that's what's important. And so we brought in a lighter green and we have it around the core, whereas the outer part is a darker green. So we have this pattern effect uh, in the middle that I didn't plan on originally, and this is the end result. Uh, I really uh, like how this came out for the end result because this is this is one of those things that I wasn't planning 
Uh, I didn't even really know how I was gonna do this when I did them, I just did them, but <coughs> this is how they came out, and I think that looks awesome. And uh, if you're doing stained glass altars, or you're doing uh, just altars in general, or anything in between the two, hopefully hopefully that helps you out. And uh, just know that uh, every, every moment is an opportunity for something awesome, because you literally affect the world around you just by existing. Uh, even, even while you're asleep. Um, you don't really do very much while you're sleeping, but, um, you know, if somebody's talking about you, I guess, and, and they can't bother you while you're sleeping and they decide to do something else uh, versus come over, uh, then that's an effect. It's not really a great one. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's not a false statement, so. <laughs> uh, that is it. Uh, that is Urza's Power Plant, and hopefully we will see you at the next one, and I'm going to go away now. Sweet!